Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Great Malabite Effendi. Action. Good morning, my friend Ruben. <laughs> Morning. Good morning, Rufa. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Victoria Tundu, MKO mm. Abiola. Good morning, Mr. Fanny. Yes, let's start with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of records. The lead story, Buhari queries legality of Southern Governor's ban on open grazing. OK's ranching, revival of grazing reserves, take off in June. Other newspapers are reporting this story. Also, the Daily Sun newspaper, Open Grazing, Buhari Falls Ban, OK's Grazing Reserve Takeoff, Rubbish's Southern Governor's Resolution, while the Vanguard newspaper, Southern Governor's Open Grazing Ban, No Solution Presidency, opts to revive grazing reserve, says Southern Governor's Ban on Open Grazing, questionable illegality. Federal government comments unfortunate on presidential affinity and attack on southern governors is attack on all southerners or hanezi. Your position is inconsistent, irrational, pandemic. We have rights to ban open grazing, south-south governors repost. Southern governors position mere declaration of intent, says Sagi, as Professor Isher Sagi. Now, looking at this story, the way this day reported the story, this day now, took issue that the President Muhammad Buhari took issue with Southern governors over their ban on open cattle grazing in the region. The presidency, in that statement signed by Malam Garbashe, would describe the ban as of questionable legality. Now, Femi Falana, SAN, Ruben, you referred to, to that piece earlier, recalls that indeed the National Economic Council, comprising the vice president and chairman and the 36 state governors, took a decision some time ago, to ban open grazing. They resolved to ban open grazing. So the governors, the southern governors, are not doing anything new, actually. And after that, uh, in that meeting, where they resolved to ban open grazing, and they plan to establish the livestock, of course, they came up with the livestock uh, transformation plan. This plan has not been yet to be executed, but recall that in the early days of the second term of the president, when there were no ministers, some persons within the presidency tried to, I, I don't want to say rubbish this plan, but they tried to come up with their own version, which they call Ruga, which involved the confiscation of lands in the states. And of course, there was opposition to that, and Ruga died a natural death. Now, the presidency, the federal government is here to do anything. Now, the governors are taking steps to actualize a decision of the National Economic Council. And it will also be recalled that on February 11, 2021, Northern Governors Forum also took a decision to ban open grazing. So why is the presidency now trying to give this, um, by its response, making it look as if the Northern Governors, the Southern Governors are against um, a group of persons ban on open grazing. And of course, we all know that it is disingenuous to use sections 41 of the Constitution as well as section 43 about the freedom of movement. Section of 41. Section 41. Section 41. Yes. On the freedom of movement of citizens across the country, you don't need to be a lawyer 
to know that that section does not cover animals, including cattle. <laughs> so for the Attorney General of the Federation to inadvertently or deliberately use that to justify the fact that cattle can move anywhere, I think we have to question the quality of legal advice the president is giving. And we can see that based on that advice, the presidency or the president is now saying the action of the governors is of questionable legality. Of course, if you want to challenge the legality of that, the appropriate place to do so should be in the court of law. And also, we must also recall that the Animal Disease Control Act empowers the Minister of Agriculture and the commissioners of agriculture in the various states to control the movement of animals so that they don't spread diseases. So it is within the powers the purview of the state government to do what they have done. So if the presidency is thinking otherwise, one would have thought that after all the criticisms by senior advocates of Nigeria of the position of the Attorney General of the Federation, that that position will not be adopted by the president and the presidency. But here we are, that is the position that the presidency is also taking on the movement. But the state governors have taken a position. The various states House of Assembly should go, should go ahead and enact laws and do the needful. And anybody who is against it should challenge those laws in the court of law. I think that position, and I want to totally agree with the position of Tundu earlier that the statement from the presidency is wholly inappropriate in content and in tone. Tundu, if you want to take it up from there. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fenny. Um, I want to go back to that um, National Livestock Transformation Plan that the NEC agreed. Obviously, as a result of that, the face of it was the Vice President, Yemi Oshibajo. And I remember at the time appreciating the fact that the Vice President was a person launching it and speaking about it. Because it's such a sensitive issue, you do need a Southern face put to it. Because we all know Nigeria is really... On, the, on a knife edge right now, these issues have to be handled with the utmost diplomacy. We do not need statements like this and that awful clangor from Femi Adesino about if you're, it's better to give up your ancestral land than be buried under it. State, sentiments like that are insulting and it only adds fuel to the raging fire that we have at the moment. And I do wish the president had thought about it a little deeper before making this kind of, you know, misadventure of a statement, as far as I'm concerned. That's how I would term it. And also the fact that nature does abhor a vacuum. You cannot say you've come up with a plan. 19 northern states have agreed to it. Five southern states have agreed to it. And I must stress that five southern states did agree to have ranches in their in their um, state. So this is not a north-south thing, as Dr. Abati was trying to stress earlier. We also have southern ranchers, and we also had the Fulani um, tribe, members of the Fulani tribe, in vehement opposition to this national transformation plan, because they are wedded to their nomadic lifestyle. They've had, they've had it for generations. So the president trying to couch this as north and south, like a divide, is really unfortunate, coming from the highest levels of leadership of this country. And it has to be reconsidered. It is wrong. It's completely wrong-footed. We, we can. It's easy for people like the Southwest leaders of APC to give statements and reject um, secession agitators and what have you, but it's not only in words. It has to be addressed. The symptoms, what is causing that agitation, must be addressed. Otherwise, we're in big trouble. Uh, well, the major reference in the uh, <coughs> statements issued on behalf of the president is about questionable legality. And we can only just rightfully, I guess, assume that uh, that statement was informed by the position of the Attorney General of the Federation. And the point has been made ad nauseum 
Akinlaga SAN, uh, by um, Femi Falan or SAN and others. That's section 41, I, I even Ulu Adeburua SAN, that uh, section 41 of the Constitution is not talking about the freedom of movement for cattle, either from Niger or from Chad or from Mali or from Guinea-Bissau. He's talking about the freedom of movement for citizens of Nigeria. Now, the uh, section 43 that you quoted earlier, uh, and I said section 41, it refers to the right to the acquisition of immovable property. It does not apply here. Sections uh, 43 and uh, uh, 44 do not apply in this particular instance. Now, as to the right to go around Nigeria, yes, section 1 of the Land Use Act says that governors of states are trustees of the land in their territories. That right does not extend to the uh, federal government of Nigeria or the president of Nigeria, whose uh, right with regard to land is limited to, uh, uh, to the federal capital territory. There is also the subsisting ruling by uh, Justice Adewale Thompson since the 1960s, which nobody has obtained or as to the illegality of uh, open grazing. So I think the president has been uh, misadvised in this particular instance. And I, as I said earlier, it was more important for the, that statement not to have been issued at all. Now, yesterday we discussed, uh, you know, some of the groups that have uh, endorsed this ban on open grazing. APC governors in the Southwest, they are opposed to it. Now, Tunu raised the point yesterday, if I recall correctly, that uh, Governor Akere Dulu was not there that uh, Governor Fayemi of Ikiti State was not there. The two governors have since issued statements in the last 24 hours to say that they aligned themselves fully with the nine-point resolution uh, emerging from that meeting uh, by the APC leaders in the southwestern part of, of Nigeria. So you have the APC leaders, you have the Northern uh, Governors Forum, you have the Arewa Consultative Forum, you have the, uh, 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 you quoted uh, earlier on, the, even the National Economic uh, uh, committee saying that open grazing is anachronistic and unsustainable. And then on the, on the basis of poor advice, uh, the president of Nigeria has now caused to be issued a statement saying that this is a questionable legality. I repeat the point I made earlier. Uh, Governor Kere Dolu and his colleagues should stand by their position that they are prepared to go to court all the way to the Supreme Court to seek that the rules of interpretation should be applied with regard to the meaning of Section 41 of the Constitution, and perhaps also Section 45 of the 1999 Constitution, which grants the governors, under which the governors of the various states mm. can say that they are acting in the interest of public morality mm. and uh, public decency and safety of the people uh, over whom, uh, uh, over whom uh, they govern. Uh, so these are the issues, in my view. Okay. I mean, great point, Dr. Abati, great point, Sundu. Let's just call a spade a spade. Let's say it the way For it your is. Come in. Okay. The president, President Muhammadu Buhari, owns cattle. His cattle don't roam. I know. They are and, confined. And that's part of what I'm Why saying. Why is he now encouraging the poor Fulanis to be roaming from north to south? M Mr. Ferry, that's why I said, let's call a spade a spade. I had a promise you know, to help only, no, only, Professor, only, I had a promise to help him. Only, only, the best cattle ranch is in Cross River State, Obudu okay. Cattle Ranch. Only, he should help the president, please. Owning cattle is a business. For you to own cattle, you must look for where to ranch your cattle. Nobody should give you any land except you purchase it to ranch your cattle. That's the fact of the matter. This has happened before. When the Zimbabwean farmers left Zimbabwe and came here, they reached an agreement with the Kwara State government to put a land on to ranch their cattle. So people should deal with their own business. And it's even appalling that we're talking about this in the national scene. If you want to own cattle, buy land to ranch your cattle. Simple as ABC. All right. Thank you so much.